how about some kind of investment fund that doesn't that doesn't actually cost the IFBB anything. So you get your pro card and hey, look, we have this investment fund. We take a percentage out of your checking account every week. You choose how much, $20 a week, $100 a week, monthly, whatever it is. And you, you stash it for, uh, you, at least you have some cushion if you retire or if you get sick or if there's a problem or well, anything like that. you don't get weekly checks or monthly checks. From the it, no, no, I know that, but it just would come from it, yours. The money gonna... No, no, from the money that you, you know, like you, uh, you make yourself as a, per as a person, you know. So if I have a job and I'm a pro bodybuilder. Yeah. I take money out of my account. Well, what they, well, I would say offer it, and it's completely up to the athlete. Hey, look, here's what we're offering. Like if to I you. want to enroll in a different 401k that the IFB Something like that. Offer. Yeah. I mean, then why does somebody need the IFB to do that? They could do it on their own. I know, but they don't. Shit. Yeah, the NyQuil knocks me right out. Dude, you gotta get some Dream Chaser. You fucking. Oh yeah, does that really shit. help? I love it. It's really I'm, all right. It's my shit, but dude, it's it's a solid fucking formula. Dude, you how uh, how much is it? Yeah, I'll hook you up to whatever. No, 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 I gotta, I gotta, I don't, I don't take, I don't do favors. Well, how much? If I was a normal person, how much would it be? I think it's fifty on the site, but you know, when you sign, you know your code, you get ten a lot. It's thirty servings. I'll try it. I give um, it a shot. But dude, it's uh, start with half a scoop. But dude, after after a couple of nights, do a full scoop, dude. You'll sleep six hours and feel like you slept fucking ten. Like really? Know? Yeah, it's good. What's it's in there good. that helps you sleep so much? So I have valerian, five HDP, kava kava, magnolia bark. Um, tryptophan, a little bit of melatonin, but I have a very high dose of GABA, which uh, mm. a lot of people would benefit from. It's it, it acts as a nootropic, but when you take a high dose of it, it lowers the neurotransmitters in your brain, so that your brain could. So people who wake up in the middle of the night and their minds are fucking rushing around, and they're thinking of shit, and they can't get back to bed. That's because their brain activity is still accelerated. Mm. This actually lowers that, so your brain activity is reduced, so you could just. It promotes restful sleep. Uh, definitely buying it. Okay. Yeah, dude, it's, uh, I'm it's, on uh, it. I, I take it. I mean, there's nights I'm so fucking tired that I'm like, oh, I don't need it tonight. You know, I don't need it. And then I then I wake up at three in the morning and I'm fucking wide awake. You know, like uh, I'm definitely uh I'm definitely yeah, gonna dude, buy you know, it. Because I wake up every every night. I mean, I wake up once at least once a night, sometimes twice a night just to pee. But when I don't take it, I have trouble getting back to bed. When I do take it, I go right back to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. That's for sure. Because I uh, sometimes I have trouble sleeping, and then sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night. Like dude, just most like, people, do that. Most people, especially when you get older, dude. You know, it's fucking anxiety, stress of life, wear and yeah. tear. Dude, life doesn't get easier. You know, like you ain't kidding. Holy shit! The fuck does that? And everything hurts. Dude, everything yeah. fucking hurts. You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, this day well, I can't even turn my fucking head properly, you know. But I actually did try your your new blue bomb flavor. It's good, right? And I like it. And the reason why I like it is, um, it's not like heavily flavored. If that so makes it's sense, funny, dude, it's it's funny. I wanted to talk about this. You know, it's right. funny you bring that up because nowadays, and I'm not to shit on the generation, okay, the younger generation, okay. But being an owner of a company, dude, there's so much emphasis nowadays on oh, on flavor. What does it taste like? You know, what it, yeah. what does it taste like? Um, dude, in our day, it's like, dude, this is what you take. Who gives a shit? 
Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, was, like you don't want it to taste like an ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't want it to taste. Do you remember when? Uh, do you remember when <laughs> protein bars socks. first came out? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah but, like, but you ate it for the protein, and then, yeah, yeah, it would taste like chalk. The, of course, but of course, as as technology gets better, there's a way. There's a yeah. way to better enhance the flavor. However, okay, here's the problem I have in, in my industry. Okay, when you want to use certain compounds, okay, when you want to use certain raw ingredients. Dude, they don't taste good. Like it's just, it's the way it is. It's yeah. like chewing on a Tylenol or an aspirin. Dude, it's it tastes horrible. But if you got a headache or a fever, you're gonna take it, right? Um, so you have to spend so much money on flavoring to counteract some of the taste that you get from these raw ingredients because dude, some of them are potent and they're not meant to taste good. Dude, I was in, I don't want to mention names, but I was in, a, I was in one of my, one of my accounts, you know, a little while back and uh, he was telling me that, you know, we were sampling out um, the mission, you know, one of the watermelon flavors. Cause he said yeah, he yeah. didn't like it. And I was like, really? Dude, Cause dude, it like, gets heavily dosed. Like it's, it's a heavily dosed pre-workout, you know? Yeah. So I have to spend more money on flavoring, right. Um, to get it, to counteract some of the flavor bad flavor, the bitter flavors you get from some of the raw ingredients, right? So uh, we open up a bottle and then we're sampling out in the store and like six different people came in to sample it. Six people, okay? All right. And each guy, dude, one guy's like, dude, I'm not a watermelon guy, but dude, it's, it's really good. I get it, like, give it like an 8.5 out of it. Like, dude, they're, and these review guys, they give ratings. They do these, really? they do these supplement reviews. And the first thing they talk about is the fucking flavor, which is yeah. just, it's, it's astonishing to me, not yeah. in a good way. You know what I mean? It's, it's so, so six guys try it. A couple guys like, dude, that's a really good, I'm not a watermelon guy, but if I was dude, I would get it. I, I rate it high. It tastes good. A couple other guys said the same thing. I'll oh, do this is really good. I would buy this. I would buy this one person, dude, one person out of the six said, dude, can I see the, the ingredient panel? Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but that's my market. You know what I mean? One fucking per dude, the other five would have bought it. Yeah. Based upon the flavor. Yeah. One guy out of the six asked to see what was in it, right? And the the funny thing is, it's everybody bitches about health and this and that and 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 but dude, the shit you gotta put in this. To mask the flavor. And these kids don't give a crap about that. No, they don't. But it'd be healthier to take it unflavored. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the malic acid and the citric acid and the flavoring and the other shit you got to put in there, it's just, dude, it's, it takes its toll after a while. No, it's, it's, they don't uh, care as long as it fucking tastes good. Yeah, it's got to taste like a fruit punch. You know, that's, that's, that's it. And, and, and what's, God forbid their their sensitive taste buds yeah, get yeah, compromised yeah, yeah. Yeah. on the way this fucking eight hundred milligram caffeine free workout goes goes down the tube. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. They're, they're worried about that, you know. But I, the, but it's what's funny is like the, I see a lot of kids like just scooping it and then drinking the water, so it's like you're not even tasting anything. But yeah, you know, once in a while I forget. I, I go straight, straight to the gym from work and I'll forget to take, uh, I usually just put a scoop of pre-workout into uh, mission into uh, my shaker cup, you know, throw water in it. Sometimes I forget it. So I'll stop at the vitamin shop. I'll get like a C4 or a total war. And when I drink it, I'm like, God damn. It's like, it's like, like this powerful fruit punch flavor. I'm like, Holy shit. But I okay, like, so I like yours. Cause it's, 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 it's lightly flavored. It, it tastes good. But it's not this overpowering fucking like. Well, dude, I don't. I want to put just enough in there where it's good. It's refreshing. Yeah. You could drink it. But your pre workouts, it's not a fucking wine tasting convention. It's not. Meant to be, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you sit and sip on it all night long. Dude, you chug it down. You go fucking train. You know? That's I it. Mean, I, yeah. I, That's... I mean, I get it with aminos and I get it with protein because people drink that. It takes a little while. It's got to taste good. I get that. But dude, even my my forge, my pump pre workout, dude, I got two grams of beetroot nitrates in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind the taste of beets, but I hear Bill, I could still taste the beet in it. Well, there's two grams of beetroot in there. <laughs> there's beetroot in it. 
dude, you're, it says it right out. It's in it. And you're surprised you could taste it, you know? <laughs> so, I have to, so I have to like put extra flavoring in this shit. Yeah. So people don't fucking complain. Yeah. It's like eating, but, a, but, but like it's like eating banana rum six. cake and complaining that you taste the rum. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So one out of six, that's like 17 and a half percent of the population that are buying these pre-workouts care about the ingredient panel. Dude, that's yeah. sad. Yeah, that's, it. that's what it comes to. And a lot of a lot of times, especially with the younger, uh, I take when I take supplements, I take what I, what I think I need, not what I want. Right. So like, I don't think I need amino. So I don't really drink extra aminos. Right. But uh, pre-workout is usually the only. I don't know. Well, how do you call it? Like, uh, I don't know, extra uh, supplement that I use that I don't need, but I, I kind of, you don't need, but it's a, but yeah, it's a luxury. Yeah, right. Exactly. A luxury. Everything else I take is like, you know, well, you know, vitamin C multi um, mineral. And then it just becomes like, it don't be, it almost becomes trendy. Like you got to take, you know, your, uh, your aminos when you're working out, you got to take your pre-workout, you know, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you know, take your uh, fucking, your pump products. You got to take your cobble. You got to put a scoop of cobble in any protein shake, you know? And then it's just, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It's just, I take what I need and then that's it. Well, that's it, dude. It's become trendy. It's a trendy thing to mm -hmm. do. When the reality yeah. is, is, dude, you'll get more benefits out of using an intro, like like my rehab, my intro, than using a pre-workout. Yeah. 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 I, be I believe are, you. Well, dude, that's what, we didn't have pre-workouts, but dude, I used to make a, I used to make before I made my own intro. I used to make my own intro with 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 fucking scraps. You know, you gotta they didn't have yeah. the shit back then that we have now. Yeah. So I used to put together these formulas that I like, dude, this is, this is what you need. And that's why all the formulas are designed a certain way. This is what you need to benefit your performance and your training and your recovery, blah, 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 and all the, all the bullshit, you know, but if you want to do it right and you're looking to, to, you know, uh, leave no stone unturned and, 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 you know, create every opportunity you can of a, a benefit of recovering better and performing better these are the raws that you need right right now like that's just overlooked it's just what fucking tastes good yeah it's strange because it's like you, the whole i remember going again and it's a long time ago you're talking the 90s right and you would yeah. go to uh there wasn't even a vitamin shop around that's how fucking old i am right that you had the mom and yeah that's you had the mom and pop stores the vitamin places right and you looked for what what you thought was going to help. So you looked for the creatine, you looked for the, the, the protein, you looked for, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be, your amino acids, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yep. But now it's just like, yeah, does it taste good? As long as it tastes good. And it's just pre-workout on it. I'm good. You know, but I wanted to ask your opinion. There was a show. Uh, I mean, I have my opinion and I'm going to share it. Oh, uh, before we get to that, did you see, I had to make an apology video. Dude, I'm kind of, uh, I feel a little indifferent about that. Which one? The apology video? The apology. One, <laughs> um, it was weird. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It yeah, was yeah. definitely weird. But I viewed it as, who gives a fuck, dude? Why? I, don't apologize. No, but it's, I just decided that it would be funny if I make an apology oh, video. Yeah, but. And entertaining. Did you watch it? Because it it you know I did it was like it, three minutes long right yeah it was yeah. so I I I it's funny well, one because of my friends called me and said dude what the fuck is with John with that apology and I didn't know what he was talking about <laughs> so I went I went and looked for it and now it like just pops up in my in my YouTube feed you know yeah 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 so I so I had three minutes out of my day to kill <laughs> so, <laughs> so I watched it and uh and then it was funny. It was like a spoof, you know. But yeah, that's exactly but, uh, right. But Not it was really. Almost like, but, I, I was, I was making, I was basically poking fun at the people that brought up the like. I literally called them hottie instead of hide. Yeah, you know. And and the whole the whole video was about how what a shit show the Masters Olympia turned into, right? And uh, I mean, I have pretty good sources, and. Uh, and I and I was I was clear as day. I was like, look, these are rumors and this is purely rumors and speculation. But here's what I've been hearing. And I reported it. And oh, well, you know, I didn't know what that was. What did you hear? 
Um, well, the biggest rumor I heard is that Hide paid for his win. What do you mean? Shelled out some cash for his win. Really? That's the biggest rumor I heard. Yeah, I don't know how true it is, but that is a rumor I heard. Okay. Um. Uh. Basically, that uh, Jake Wood took a fucking bath and uh, lost his ass on the show. Like we're talking seven figures. Uh, oh, the promoter. Yeah, the promoter. Uh, nobody, nobody in Romania basically bought tickets. The only people that bought tickets were um, the competitors and their families. Yeah, so regular regular tickets were like seventy bucks, and then you had the VIP with like well, a buck and a quarter or something like that. And, online. And the yeah the uh, the live stream did not sell well at all. And um, I mean, it was small, but I don't I don't remember exactly. Um, yeah. And then when you when you look at the lineup at He Day, especially the rear shots, I mean, clear as day, shouldn't have won. I mean, it was really pathetic. It's really bad, you know. Uh, so oh, and and then the check. Um, there was a big confusion. Bounce? Yeah, yeah. It was a big confusion of how much Hide was supposed to get. Bounce on the way to the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a big confusion on what Hide was supposed to get. He was. It was. It was said that the open class, the winner got twenty thousand. Every other winner of the other classes got ten thousand. So supposedly he was supposed to get a check for ten thousand, but uh, the announcer announced the check for twenty thousand. And then even the live stream, I think uh, it was Bob Ciccarello, and I don't know who the girl was. They were going back and forth. No, it's supposed to be ten thousand. Oh, he said twenty thousand. So, 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 and and the other rumor is that he actually got twenty grand. But I don't know how true it is. This is just rumor and speculation, you know. And I don't know. And I said I would love to know why, if these are true, why why Hide and and uh, what's her name? What's his girlfriend's name? What's his name? What's her name? Mrs. Mrs. Hide. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not married. Iris Kyle. Uh, He's dating Hida? What? He's dating Hida? Yeah, they've been together. I don't, I don't know this shit. Though. Yeah, they've been together. That's an odd he's couple. Follow, huh? follow this shit. I don't follow this shit. Yeah, that's an odd, that's an odd couple right there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't you know, be surprised. They're, they're, I take it they live in Vegas, right? I wouldn't. Yeah, they have they had the gym in Vegas that's where she, gym, yeah. she she threw out Milos. Milos isn't welcome there anymore. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, she used <laughs> if she used uh, apparatus <laughs> in their private life. <laughs> Not going there, dude. Not going there. That shit. Special well, apparatus. Yeah, good for them. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. All right. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm skipping it. All right. Um anyway, so so a couple of people in the comment section said, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't get his name right and making fun of me. Come up from a guy who can't even make get his name right. And I'm like, he so I was like, all right, so there's three people. There's this Hadi, who is Mr. Olympia, there's Hani, who's his coach, and then there's Hide. The guy that didn't deserve the two twelve, Mister Olympia Victor of Masters. Two twelve, or it was a two twelve or open. No, he was two twelve open. Going who to won, uh, who won the open? Kamal. Kamal was right. Yeah, he looked good. He always looks good. Yeah, he was deserving. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. I mean, he was definitely deserving. Anyway, the other thing that I wanted to ask is, I wanted your opinion. I have my opinion, but this uh, this last show, this last week was uh, Italy. And as I said, it, it, you know, now the shows are getting more and more stacked because everybody wants to, everybody's waiting for the last minute to qualify. But, you know, so uh, Nathan won, Nathan Diaz won. And now since he's already in Europe, he's because he's from the UK, he's doing the uh, Spain Pro. Oh, sure. So he's, he might block another person from getting it. He looked good. This, oh, he did look great. And I was really surprised. And I was, I was actually surprised that Regan, from the back, Regan looked great. But from the front, it was like, a little off, but here's the thing. Blessing, blessing talks such a big game, and dude, it, it's his legs are so bad. I'm gonna pull it up and show you. His legs are so bad compared to his upper body. That is, I I gotta believe that sooner or later this is gonna hurt his popularity, and people are just gonna be like, he talks so much because he bet Regan Grimes five grand that he was gonna beat him. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and then. But he beat Regan. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, he came in fifth, and Regan came in second. Supposedly, rumor has it that uh, he paid him. Uh, Did that, he? that that uh, that that uh, what do you call it? That um, blessing paid him. You know, no but I mean, it's I gotta believe that sooner or later, people are gonna go blessing talking shit again. He can't even get his leg. I mean, it. I'll sh- I'll just pull it up. Look how like bad comp- for a pro bodybuilder this is. Right? I am going to. The fuck you watch. This is powerlifting. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, here we go. Because I'm like, it's like, it, I'm at the point where it's like, is his legs ever hey, going to hey, match? Hey, hey. Yeah. I'm, I, you know, I'm like, is, is his legs ever going to, ever going to match? I mean, there's like zero separation. I, I, I'm at the, I'm, my opinion is I don't think he's ever going to be able to grow his legs at this point. Weird. You know? Yeah. On Instagram, they look, you know, a lot better. But then once you get to the actual show. Everything looks better on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. So does Regan Grimes. I even look taller. <laughs> I look, I look like <laughs> at least five, six. <laughs> but what's your opinion? Because his, his, it's just, it's really bad. So he, he's got like over a million followers on Instagram. He's got a huge social media following. <clears throat> I know he has a huge personality, but he can't back it up. You know, and his legs are just, it's just looking like worse and worse. You know, they don't well, look like this they... isn't the best his upper body's looked either. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's his upper body's been better. He's got, yeah. he's definitely got a film on him <laughs> and he's not popping. You know, no, not at all. In the past, but yeah, you know, he genetically has weaker legs and, uh, um, He's not doing anything to make them better. Well, let's see, because that, like, right here, as soon as he comes out, I don't even know how he took so, like his, his, his outer sweeps and his, his teardrops, the vastus lateralis, um, there's a lot of room for growth there. And uh, it, it's almost like the individual muscles of his quadriceps are small. And his uh, adductors, you know, inner hamstring part, yeah, is the meat. Looks like that's the meat of uh, the the width of his thighs. Right, right, right. Pull up a picture of uh, dude. Pull somebody else up. Scroll down a little bit. Go back up to the top. I'm sorry. Back to the top. A little more. A little more. A little more. Right there. So look at Kevin and Ronnie. And I'm not sure is that hottie. Uh, hottie. Yeah, hottie. But look at the sweeps on Kevin. Like right, you don't right, even right. see their inner thighs. You right, know what I mean? right, 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 right. Where where uh Blessing has to stand with a wide stance with his right. feet. If you notice, he's standing with his feet like a duck, like a duck stance, because the only thing that makes his legs look big is his inner hamstrings. Ah, I got you. Right, right, right. Look at Ronnie's outer thighs here. And of course, it's Ronnie and Kevin. But dude, every other top row, it's the same thing. But even, even, yeah, even, even Hottie, like, uh, dude, Hottie's legs are fucking phenomenal. I mean, yeah. Uh, where, where was it? Oh, yeah, right here. You're passing. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I saw this. this, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his legs are insane, especially that this panda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. But I mean, I'm at the point where I don't don't think his legs are ever going to match his upper body. I just, you know. Well, to be honest, you know, there, there's a time frame. How old's Blessing? It's got to be in his 30s, mid 30s. So there, there's a time frame that you could really devote where if, if you attack, you know, training a certain way, you could really, you know, you, you, could, you could really enhance, you know, and develop the, but you, your body a certain way. Um, right, 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 right. He's definitely not doing that because nothing's changing. Yeah, um, uh, I guess. Yeah. So, you know, it's up to him, you know, but it, he he might get more out of just the talk and, and uh, acting like it's entertainment, you know, as opposed to, uh, you know, see, the funny thing is they don't look that horrible there, you know. But this is, this is the, you know, the Instagram shots, right? Right. But you can well, see detail. You can actually see yeah. the outer sweeps. 
they all are, you know they're oh. they're stringy they're definitely not as meaty as they should be right because he's got a decent size upper body his upper you know? body is amazing you know but his v taper is amazing but his legs just yeah. kill him he, but he's he, a fucking he needs to get under a squat bar for a good year and i don't mean hack squats and then and, and, right and just the old presses. school you see all the time i mean fucking back barbell squats dude just devote some yeah. time and train your fucking legs you know because you know he's got personality and he makes things interesting and it would be more interesting if he's he a was fun guy if dude, he was that I'm, competitive I'm, talking, I'm not talking shit about him i'm just look, no I'm just it's the truth the truth you know, like, what are you gonna do he's actually great for the sport you yeah know? except that he can't um, he really back it up yeah yeah like if but it dude, was you but act bring that personality with a better fucking physique and then right you'll go right. a lot longer you'll you know you'll you'll your distance will be much further yeah yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, couldn't agree more. Like, you know, it's like a fighter. You know, Floyd Mayweather could talk as much shit as he wants back when he was champ because he would beat everybody. It. Yeah, he could beat yeah. everybody. But then there was Adrian Broner who talked a bunch of shit and then he'd get knocked out. And it's like, well, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> and so he's kind of like the Adrian Broner of bodybuilding. It's like right. you, you talk all this shit and you just lost five grand. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know what his work ethic is like. I don't know what he's like in the gym. I don't know if he's, if he's, I know he, one of his coaches is a, his coach is Cameron something. There's a guy that studied under, help me out here. Who's the guy who trains uh, Clarita? Anyway, it's like a, a guy who learned from him, from what I understand. I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think. He's ever. I, I'm at the point where it's like, all right, it's been a few years now. It's like you know, your legs got to fucking start matching, and they don't like. And the thing is, I, I know the two different people. When you look at Derek Lunsford, when he first turned pro, everybody was like, oh, his legs are weak, and now his legs are insane, you know. And I don't know if it's work ethic or if it's just a genetic problem, or you know, or he. Or, well, did he get to the point where what are you doing? You know. So the thing is, what's working for him right now is the entertainment side of this, right? Where right, he's talking right. smack and he's getting attention, okay? But sooner or later, and this might be the breaking point for him, where you're not delivering. So nobody wants to fucking hear anymore. Right, that's what I'm saying. Nobody it's cares. Gotta, so right. your smack talk is actually going to, your stock and your smack talk is going to diminish, right? Right, right, right. So what he really needs to do now is to devote some time into some proper training Proper nutrition, obviously getting on some high prevail supplements. I don't know what shit he's using now or whoever sponsored him, whatever, but it ain't yeah. working. It ain't fucking working. That's it for is. sure. But what he needs to do is get get under a real good routine, a real good regimen, take it a little more serious, and come back when you're ready, make a good showing, and then talk your shit. You know, but right. nobody, it's like the boy who cried wolf, dude. Nobody wants to fucking hear it anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it's ridiculous, you know. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, even uh, just I, I you just lost five grand. Just you should have bet him a dollar, <laughs> like in trading places. Remember that? Yeah, one dollar. <laughs> ruin your life for yeah. one dollar. <laughs> yeah, one dollar. Yeah. Here you are, Mortimer. The other thing is. I wanted to talk about actually was Regan Grimes because I want your opinion on Regan as well. Now, when you see Regan in um, Instagram pictures like here, right? You know, he, he looks phenomenal, right? He, now, his back translated on stage, but then when you get to uh, him, uh, that's too small. Let's see if we get a better one. When you get to him and where is he? Oh, here we go. You know, it doesn't really translate as much. And even his legs aren't as separate. And his front double by, I don't know, it doesn't look in He clearly put a lot of size on because he held his own against Nathan. And that's saying something because Nathan's a big boy. But it just didn't really translate. From the back, it did. From the back, he looked really good. And he was also holding some water from the back. Well, you could see some skin folds in, in his lower back when he does his uh, lat spread. But for the most part, his 
why doesn't it translate? I don't, I don't understand. What well, there's, the- there's, 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 there's a lot of different factors, right? So first of all, the day of the show, okay, it's, it's hit or miss. Okay. Okay. Um, at this point, nothing can be changed. He's cut his water or added water or cut his sodium or added his sodium. He's either taking diuretics or not taking whatever the route he took, you know, to get to the finish line is done. Right. 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 He could be a little flat here. He could be a little spilled over here. Um, the lighting could just be so prominent, which happens a lot, dude. Like, well, people don't realize is those lights on stage are so fucking strong. Okay. And then when somebody snaps a picture, they have a flash on that. Dude, it washes you out. Dude, I've right. seen guys that look horrible in pictures, right? Horrible in pictures. And then you look at them in person like, holy shit, dude, he don't look like this in photos, right? Right, yeah. And that's and that's there's, that. There's other guys with different skin tones, okay, that look great in pictures. And then you see them in person like, oh, dude, like it, it looked different in person. You know, it's, right. it just, and then that, that's, the reality of it also you know he could be filled up on carbs he's it's after training he's pumped up everybody looks good when they're pumped that's uh, why guys okay. i prep dude i have them send me pictures first thing in the morning on an empty stomach when they do nothing i want to see you when you look your best i want to see you when you look shitty so we know how to improve right mm-hmm. um so, so there's he- all those different factors there and then the lighting is different you know he's he's uh you know, you know, the separation right there did it might not look as crisp as it looks on Instagram. Um, but in person, it might be a different story where on Instagram, he's not washed out from those heavy stage lights. You, okay. know? you know, I've seen pictures even of last year's Olympia, of big Rami, like, dude, he looks fucking horrible. But then I saw oh. other ones that didn't have a, a spotlight on him, where it was a little shadow and he looked fucking dry. Right, 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 right. You know, See, and, so, and look at the difference. When you see Nathan in his front double by, he looks just f- amazing. It's like he's got serious wow factor when he hits this shot, right? And then you go to here, and it just looks very underwhelming. And again, dude, he could be starting to release this pose. Yeah, you that's true. What, that's true. You don't yeah. know what part of the transition of the pose he's in. Yeah, that's true. He could true. just be opening up to it or, or coming out of it where – you know, uh, Nathan's been holding it for a couple seconds already, you know? Right, 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 right. So th- there's so many different factors. Um, but I, I do agree with uh, Regan still does need to nail his online conditioning based upon the pictures, okay? right? Um, but, dude, I've, you know, I, I've been a fan. You've heard me since we started doing this together, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of Regan, and then because he has certain attributes that mo- not many of the top guys have when it comes to shape and flow and symmetry right. and just you know that classic look. You know that. Dude, how do you not like that? You know, yeah. uh, from an athlete point of view, it's a perfect structure. You know, so what he has genetically, um, so many other guys are missing. He's just got to get a little better of, of, of showing that the day of the show. And, and again, dude, he's competed. What how many, how many times as a pro handful? Yeah. A handful of times. And yeah, he's so also, he's, he's also doing Spain this weekend too. Yeah. He's young. So hopefully he could recall, you know, try to get that qualification in Spain and, you know, he's with Milos too. They, they got right. what he's, you know, <laughs> and a, there's no and a, shortage you know, of knowledge there. Can he, can he make a better showing in a week? Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. When yeah. it comes to fine tuning, you can make an you can make a better showing from prejudging to the finals. Good point. Yes. If, if you true. if you really know how to fine tune things, dude. And these yeah. guys have been doing. It's not like somebody on a regional level, you know, or even a national level, you know, where you're still learning. These guys are the top guys anyway. And he's got the best guy the working fuck. with him, right? Yeah. And dude, you know, six extra hours, dude. If you have six extra hours to dry out, dude, I'll fucking take it. Yeah, right, 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 right. You're a little right, off, right. dude. I'll take it. You could do a lot in six hours. Yeah. And uh, here is... Uh, Look how much, I'll give you an example. Go Look ahead. how much weight you lose overnight just by going to sleep. Right. You could lose six to seven pounds of water overnight without doing anything. Yeah, right, 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 right. Weigh yourself before you go to bed and weigh yourself first thing in the morning and see what a difference it is. 
That's so this, seven or eight hours. Right. Yeah. This guy, he's Chinese. He came in fourth. Uh, he came out of nowhere. I didn't know who he was. He's got a strange name. I, don't, I know I'm going to destroy it. I don't know. I've seen him before. Yeah. And, but same Where kind of. Place, third? No, fourth. Uh, fourth. Roman Fritz came in third. Right. And Roman looked good. He came in chiseled. Came in hard as nails, uh, and then uh, and then what's his name came in fifth, uh, uh, blessing. But he's another one that kind of looks a lot better on Instagram uh, than actually what he looks like. Let me see. I think we's got a picture of him, but you know. But then again, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but John, how many how many times have you seen a girl on Instagram? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> and then, yeah. No, oh, yeah. You're 100 percent right. And it's 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 just it's no different. Yeah. You know? It's and again and again, it's how this guy's peaking for a show. Yeah, right. Everybody right. looks great in the gym when they're pumped up and they're posing and they're training and they have, right. they're hydrated and they're, they're not under those stage lights. Those mm. stage lights, dude. They they do not fucking discriminate. Yeah. Right. 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 right they right. show everything. They're the most most unflattering lights you could ever be under. Any uh, no. flaw you have, it's going to show. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, Instagram favors the uh, the the less prepared, you know, so to speak. So, just get off topic a little bit. Ugh. I thought this was uh, actually pretty interesting. I contacted the kid uh, from The Sopranos, AJ. He's not a kid anymore. He's probably in his thirties oh, at this point, right? On Facebook. And I said, you know, you know, for the Outcast channel you know, you can interview. And he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, no problem. My fee is a hundred bucks. So I said, okay. That's like, no. that's like they're going right these days, huh? Apparently. So I said, okay, no problem. So he sends me the cash. Oh. I said, no problem. A hundred dollars, no big deal. He sends me the cash app, right? He blew you up. <laughs> so, yeah. well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what no. I'm thinking. Yeah, wait, wait, I might be wrong, but I mean, yeah. yeah. So he sends me the cash app and he sent me the wrong one. So he's like, all right, send it to this one. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. So I send it to him and uh, he goes, send me a screenshot when you, you know, of you sending it to me, you know, when you send it, it's all right, no problem. It's like a receipt, cash app receipt. So I send it to him and uh, I said, uh, you know, we good. And I had never heard from him. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was this morning. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. But then again, you know, his uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He has he has not looked at his the all good question mark. So I might gotta I might gotta bang out for a hundred bucks. But then I'm like, no, why would you just bang me out? If you're gonna do that, you know, if you're gonna do that, then you might as well bang me out for for, for five hundred, right? What's what's he doing himself now? I have no idea. I want to interview him and see what the hell he's doing because there's a lot. He what did you stalk his Facebook page? Is there any any yeah. updated pictures or family shit? Or I think he's actually doing uh podcasting too, actually. But see, the reason why he's interesting is because you know he's a child actor, and a lot of people don't realize how dramatic that is on somebody because you know the majority of people we've talked about this before, right? The majority of people their success comes later in life, the majority of men. After working so many years, most people get success. You know, after 35, 40, 50, and then they start making the majority of their money at that point. But somebody like him, his his success is at 10 years old, 10 to 20, right? That and and it's like it's like that is the so now you have to deal with the rest of your life reflecting on that, which has got to be very difficult. And a lot of child actors uh have to deal with that. But I would like to know how he dealt with that. I would like. I would also like to know how he dealt with the idea that he was portrayed as the weak son to such a powerful uh, father, and how he dealt with that in people's eyes in reality. Because people really think that you're that character sometimes. Like I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones, uh, yeah. but yeah. there was a. There was a there was a uh, villain Joffrey in the show, and the guy guy would get death threats, and it's like, dude, it's a fucking television show. <laughs> it's, he's really? a, it's a character, yeah. So I'd love to know. There's an there's an actor Austin something I forgot his name. I forgot his name. 
but I saw somehow I, 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 in my feed, it might have been on uh, reels or something, you know, and it was, remember Punked with Ashton Kutcher? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they show this guy and they're punking him. And he always played like a, a bitchier persona. On oh, film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, this guy was ready to throw down, dude. He was no fucking <laughs> Who, who like, was everybody's it? Everybody's like, whoa, we got respect for him now. Dude, he wasn't taking any shit. Good. Yeah. Who was you know, it? But so so in terms of that comment, I, I I don't know. I'd have to beg to differ a little bit. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, absolutely. You might be you might be right. But I I used to hate that show because I used to say they always they always punk somebody that they knew would never you see the Justin Timberlake one? And what was the Justin Timberlake? No, no. Dude, they're like taking his house away from him. <laughs> really? Breaking boxes that he thinks like you haven't paid your taxes, yo. This one, you're like eighty grand, dude. The guy's like worth millions. Yeah, like, right. you're like eighty grand. We're taking everything from me. They took his car, and he's like, oh, he's about to make a phone. He's like, actually, that phone, that cell phone, it's signed to your business, right? Because he has, well, we own that. Now they took his cell phone. Really? <laughs> he was like, about to cry. And he's such a well, good guy. That, well, <laughs> that show, that show. I always said there were three people I wanted during that time in the '90s when that show was popular. There were three people I want to see you punk. Right. And during that that time, I said, these are the three people that would love to see you punk. One, Mike Tyson. Right. <laughs> Shook, right. <laughs> Shook Knight was number two. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Chuck Zito is number three. See how far you get punking one yeah. of those three guys. <laughs> uh, not at that time. That wasn't yeah. No, definitely not at that time. But no, man, it's uh, so hopefully. Well, there there yeah. was one. I forgot who it was, but th there was one where they had to stop in mid because it was one of those types of per not a mike tyson obviously but somebody who you know nobody portrayed as as a fucking sissy you know yeah um but they were punking him and it started getting like all right we're calling this off dude because he was getting ready to fucking well the one that i saw that that they really uh who really got pissed off was triple h i didn't see that one uh they made it like a wedding like a uh there was a wedding and a girl's dress and triple H walks in and knocks something over onto the girl's dress or something like that. And he feels terrible. And the, the cameraman is blaming everything on triple H. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah. And it got to the point where triple H is like, look, dude, you don't fucking fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, uh, but hopefully uh, this, uh, you know, I, hopefully I didn't get pumped out of a hundred bucks. <laughs> You'll find out in the next couple of days. Yeah, because early on he texts me, he goes, My team will my team. Well, that 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 annoys me. Like, I don't understand how you have you a team. You can afford a team if you're only getting a hundred bucks. That's what I was gonna say. So for you, appearance. Yeah. I don't I don't think he's gonna screw me because like I said, if you really were gonna if it was it was a if it was a fake account or if, it, if you're gonna screw me, you would have you would have hit for five five hundred or something like that. Right. Or whatever you know, but a hundred bucks is like you know. All right. It might, it might. To me, the hundred dollars is like to see if how real I am, right? So like Maybe. the first time, the first time I I reached out to Sergio, um, I bought some products from him. He had the what was it, Optimum Nutrition or something like that? Not Optimum. Nah, I forgot. He, was, uh... he he had a supplement line, and I bought I bought a shirt from him, Victory, which I still think he still has. And then I bought uh, some supplements from him, right? And then he he came on because he just you know that kind of proved that I was real, you know. But uh, but yeah, we'll see we'll see what ha what happens. I don't know, but it'll be pretty pretty funny. Good, Good yeah, you ain't kidding. Good luck with Adrian. Son of a. Bitch. Yeah, I like to hear I like to hear about his time with James Gandolfini. Yeah, me too. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of yeah. I'd like to hear or you know who was who was real the. What character was really like the person himself the most on that show? And who was not? Who was what character was really completely the opposite of the person, the actual person, you know? Well, uh, what's his name? You know, he was he was uh bass player for Springsteen. So he was yeah, you know, yeah, type yeah. Of, you know. yeah. Yeah. Tell you that that was a great show, man. And you know yeah. what, you know what made that show so great? Steven Van Zandt. But yeah, 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 yeah. You know, to me, you know, what made that show so great is they nailed the well, first of all, the casting was fantastic, but 
the casting was fantastic. It was so detail oriented to the littlest thing, right? And then uh, actually how they would approach that. The, the true nature of the women, the true nature of the spoiled kids, the true nature of how they think, how the mob guys think and so on and so forth. That was really, really accurate. Like, do you remember that scene where the kid, where his daughter comes home with a kid who's biracial? He's half black and half white. Do you remember that scene? And he says... Oh, Tony, uh, Tony yeah. pulls him aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, hey, your little friend up there didn't do you any favors bringing you into this house. <laughs> he called oh, him really? a... Yeah, 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 he called him a... He called him a charcoal briquette. And and uh, uh, yeah, and he called him a tattoon. And a tattoon in, in Italian means the N-word. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, so yeah. it was it was it was accurate, you know, where a lot of the shows that came after that, I remember trying to get into the show Ray Donovan. Right. And then after the after there was this one scene, I shut off. I stopped watching Ray Donovan. It was Ray Donovan. Did you ever watch that show? I saw a couple of them. I, I didn't, yeah, uh, he was supposed yeah, to be a tough guy from Boston. He's supposed to be an Irish tough yeah. guy from Boston and everything. And, yeah. and his son is Live getting bullied. Right, right, right. His son is getting bullied, and uh, the son picks up a football tee, and the kid who's bullying him, he hits him in the head with the football tee. And, you know, they suspend him from school and everything, and, and uh, his father punishes him. And I go, That's, that, no, that would never – no, if you're a tough guy from from you know the projects in Boston, you would you would first find out what happened, and then once you realize that he fought back, you'd be like, all right, good, don't worry about it, you did the right thing. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, this is oh, shit. But uh, other than that, dude, it was like, I don't know. I'm reaching. I got a couple of other people coming on, but anyway, let's get back to bodybuilding. Did you hear about that kid who died, Neil Curry? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying now it was an. Suicide. They don't, yeah. Well, they said that it was might have been an intentional overdose, but um, they don't know, uh, you know, uh, not all the details are out yet. I did a, a video on that, but don't you think at this point the IFBB should at least address this instead of just sitting there like basically dormant? I mean, at least a, a make a statement, something. Um. Well, well, in the last four or five years, how many, how many, there's been a lot of IFBB pro deaths, you know? Well, this is so, so I mean, you're not going to. Well, well, but yeah, I get it, but it doesn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, something, you know, uh, uh, you know, at least does Jim, does Jim Mannion ever, will he ever like make a statement? He is, runs the IFBB, anything? Well, dude, there's, you know, there's probably five times as many deaths as in retired NFL players, you don't hear Ryan yeah. Adele, you know, you don't oh, know, right. I get it. Gonna, so you got to remember, dude, you're talking about a, a business. Yeah. You know what I mean, you're talking about a, a multi million dollar business, you know, with the NPC and the IFBB and even bigger, you're talking in the billions when it goes to the NFL, you know, look at the WWE with Vince McMahon and UFC with Dana White when he owned it, you know, like anything goes wrong. Nobody is ever going to throw that on the way to the company, dude. No fucking way. No, no I get that, way. but at least make but a it, statement but again, what and you, say a oh, heart goes out to, you know, the maybe, family. You know, you know. But it's, it's you know... Well, how about how about this? I came up with this idea, right? It's not their, you know... What are they going to... And I get it. it. Even if it's I, fake. I, even well, if it's fake and you don't give a shit. I mean, at least... But you got to be it. careful, because that's a very slippery slope. Because by by sending a condolence, well, why you said then it's going to open up a whole new window. You know, people like these fucking talkers. Why is Jim McMahon sending a condolence? Maybe he feels guilty. Maybe he feels responsible. Maybe it's the sport of bodybuilding that drives these people to no, dude. It's none of that. So yeah. you're better off stay the fuck out of it. It's not your doing. It's nothing Jim Mannion did or Jim Mannion should even worry about. Just like Roger. Well, look, and the NFL is different because you're talking about concussion injuries and depression and stuff like that. And then there's there's there's, uh, you know, funding for that also for retired players. But in terms of the IP. Well, that Mannion, was that was my idea. I oppose when I did the video. I don't know. I don't I don't, uh, I don't see that argument. 
you know? you're a cold you're a cold bastard man <laughs> so if somebody yeah, no, so if, have, a, have, if a sponsored have, athlete if, spo- if a sponsored athlete from iper health subs drops dead tomorrow you'd be like well shit out of no, luck. I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm not a multi-million dollar you know business that's worried about you know going under because of the death of somebody who is you know who, who knows what but this is a you know right. the, <clears throat> the bodybuilding deaths they've never really been fully addressed we don't know how Right. I know they've all been. But hard. how about how about this? How about this? You might know more about this than I do. OK, how about some kind of investment fund that doesn't that doesn't actually cost the IFBB anything? So you get your pro card and hey, look, we have this investment fund. We take a percentage out of your checking account every week. You choose how much twenty dollars a week, one hundred dollars a week, monthly, whatever it is. And you, you stash it for, uh, you, at least you have some cushion if you retire or if you get sick or if there's a problem or well, anything like that. you don't get weekly checks or monthly checks. From the it, no, no, I know that, but it just would so come from it, yours. The money gonna... No, no, from the money that you, you know, like you, uh, you make yourself as a, per- as a person, you know. So if I have a job and I'm a pro bodybuilder. Yeah. I take money out of my account. Well, what they, well, I would say offer it, and it's completely up to the athlete. Hey, look, here's what we're offering. Like if I want to enroll in a different 401k that the IFBB Something like that. Offers. Yeah. I mean, then why does somebody need the IFBB to do that? They could do it on their own. I know, but they don't. And at least at the IFB, it shows that the IFBB at least like cares a little bit. Like, hey, it's a, at least it's a little bit of a cushion. We're looking out for you, so on and so forth. It's more of a gesture. It wouldn't cost them anything unless there are hidden fees that I don't know about. We're well, looking out for them for what reason? Well, because, you know, uh, bodybuilding like, doesn't cause people to fucking kill themselves. No, 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 no. I, I get that. I get that. What I'm saying is if somebody were to retire or if somebody were to get sick or if somebody decides, um, you know, he they need the money for an emergency, anything, anything. It's like, look, he, you could just in case you know of anything here is a fund that you can invest in every week we set it up for you and it's up to you on how much you want to put into it you know you could even you could even like pick the the investment products i mean i mean these these firms have a million different investment products even i did it with with my job and now i get it it's my job i get it i get it but your job has how many employees how many how many ifbb how many ifbb uh, athletes on there, you know, global. But the, the IFB doesn't pay these athletes. They're not under, they're, they're not, there's not money that each athlete draws in right. that the IFB could take. Like you're at least, you know, you're, there's money that goes out to pay all the union workers from jobs, right? Yeah, right. Right. There's no money coming in from these athletes unless they compete and do this, this, and this. Right, right. So it's, all, it's, all it's, I'm I saying get, is, all I'm saying is like, it's a gesture and it's like, yeah. Hey, you know, I, 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 we urge well, you to talk, do this. There was talk years ago, and Bob Chicarello was supposed to take the reins, and, and well, that's uh, yeah, and and hey, start something where the IFB starts an insur- health insurance program for bodybuilders. But you know, all the red tape got involved, and it never happened. And it, it's well, just yeah. much, health it's insurance too- is going to be difficult. Uh, because of all the you know, uh, you know, you think they don't re- know what goes on in in bodybuilding. You know, um, I'll, I'll give you an example. I went to get life insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have uh, life insurance. Okay, so about ten years ago, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe eight, eight, nine years ago, and they wouldn't give it to me because I have a prior arrest record. Fucking fuck! What does that have to do with fucking nothing? <laughs> Done in perfect health. <laughs> Excuse me, but because I have a felony. I could not at that time. Now they they're waiting for X amount of time to pass, and then I'd be eligible for it. But you know, the IFBB, you know, you're creating a fund for somebody in case something happens. But again, they're going to look at these applicants, right? And they're going to say, "I'm going to pass." I, you know, I'm going to I'm going to pass on these guys because no, they, yeah, as far as health, yeah, health coverage. Yeah, but I'm yeah, just I, don't know. I think it's better for if 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 you have concerns, call an investor. You know, call an insurance guy right. and and, uh, and work it out. You know, they they have policies that million millions of people across the country can can engage in and and and, and partake in. 
Oh yeah, listen, um, I I get it, but it'd I would be nice. I, sure, I, sure. Yeah. it'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful, dude. It would be wonderful and beautiful. It wouldn't it cost them. It wouldn't cost. No, I know that it wouldn't cost them anything, right? Because it would be you just like, hey, look, you know, you were taking it from your checking account, well, put it into well, his fund. Well, this is on, your money. You're wrong. You're wrong. Why am I wrong? Because what it does, what it. Oh, does I can't to- wait to why hear the comments on this, man. People are going to call you a cold-hearted son of a bitch. Not, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> um, what it what it does do is now the IFB is responsible for setting up the plan and getting the people. Dude, you know how much you know you, you ever deal with people? You ever deal with people on, on that kind of level? <laughs> Dude, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Now you have thousands and thousands of people emailing you and sending in their information that the I-50 has to sort out and give to the and give to this whatever benefit it is or whatever insurance policy it is. And I bet you, I bet you the financial Dude, companies could handle it. They have to hire 30 fucking people to do this. Dude. I bet you the, fi- I bet you the financial companies want the investment so bad that they have people that don't do it. Good. And the person should call that financial company. The oh, Jim yeah. Mannion shouldn't do it. <laughs> I, well, I think it's a good idea. And I think you're wrong. <laughs> You do it. You do it. I do do start it. A, start a trust fund for my for, for me. Uh, I have I have for, for I have I have, I have yeah. two two I have two investment funds and I have life insurance and I have a pension because if I drop dead, my wife gets half my pension. My Good my I I'm white. Yeah, I'm my wife is. I die tomorrow. My wife's set. No, she has no problems. <laughs> so I, I told my wife, we finally have enough money, right? where we could not do anything for the rest of our lives and retire on a fucking paradise island as long as we die by next Friday. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Yeah, no, it's been, it's, uh, I have a 401k, I have a 457, I have life insurance, I have a, a pension. Um, I don't even look at it. Better off not, yeah. You know, the last time I looked at it, last time I looked at it, it was over six figures. Last time I looked at it, uh, oh good, uh, I don't know, a few years back, because I thought the product I picked was half, uh, half uh, blue chip stocks, half uh, bonds. And it's like a half half safe shit. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so that that was my suggestion because bodybuilders are dying, and everybody knows steroids kill bodybuilders. It's a given. You take steroids, you're gonna die. <laughs> Not true. Well, that's what people say. That aren't dead. That's what that's what people say in the comment section. Anyway. <laughs> sure uh, they do. Yeah. For sure they do. Remember that guy that was on uh, Joe but Rogan? Dying, more, but more people are dying that don't take steroids. Oh, absolutely. It's ridiculous. More yeah, people. it's a lot more people. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just you know that, that's and at a go- much faster rate. That's their go to. That's this this their go to. That's their go to. It's just you know I got a, I got a friend at work whose son is very uh he's very small he's very undersized and um he takes growth hormone you know um so I was wondering dwarfism you know or is he... yeah I'm not he doesn't have dwarfism he's just very undersized you know he's like borderline so and the kid like you know sprung up a certain amount of inches or whatever blah 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 so now I'm like okay well if that's the case I'd like to know when he, the kid's gonna die according to all the comments. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, you know, ridiculous. I don't know. I'm all, I'm all fucked up. Anyway, I just thought it would be nice. It would be a nice gesture. Like when, when you, like when you go, like when you, when I, (laughs) like when you go to somebody's house and you bring a housewarming gift, right? Right. Yeah. 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 However, this is, you know, the housewarming, it doesn't end with the housewarming. Then then there's paperwork, right? Do you know what I follow? And there's yeah. people who do, don't want to enroll anymore. They want to come out. You want to fucking IV to handle that shit? <laughs> yeah. well, I, I bet you that the financial institutions would handle it because they well, want then, the investment. Then they should actually say, hey, listen, we have something. We put together this package, right? We want to offer all your athletes. So look, if you're a financial institution and you see profit in this, which I'm sure there is, right? Yeah. I mean, insurance, all it is is a fucking middleman. It's all, you know, it's all profit to them. Right. Um, you know, it's it's all it's all a Ponzi scheme, dude. They can't pay everybody, so if everybody put a claim in, they go out of business. You know, so, oh yeah, right, right. Um, but if if a smart insurance company hears this podcast, mm-hmm. and they want to put together right, and they want to put together a package to present, 
see the IFBB or the NPC, they should uh, they should feel they should do obliged. that. Obliged. Yeah. yeah, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, contact Jim Mannion. Yeah, right. The other thing I wanted to tell you was I recently found out that you could put a turbo on a Harley Davidson. No shit. Yep. It's like they do wheelies or <laughs> yeah, it's like 50 horse. It, it's like, well, there's certain, it's, you know, it's like 50 horsepower to the, uh, to the bike. Oh yeah. It's 50. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good um, kick. You're doing and, it. Uh, I don't know. I'm think I don't know what I want to do. I know I want to do something, but here's the thing in order to, since the bike is air cooled, right. I'd have to upgrade the, uh, the uh, fan and oil cooler. Oh yeah. yeah. Because the bike will get hotter a lot, a lot faster. Yeah. But the kits, the turbo kits alone are like six grand. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. You're fine, dude. Relax. I, I know, but I just, it's. I don't you know. Want I need a toy. To... You want, you want to, yeah. you want to, you want to enhance your toy. Yeah, I really want to like enhance my toy or get penis. another. Toy. It's like you know, you're never, yeah. never satisfied. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm only satisfied when I come out of a hot shower. And I look down and I go, oh, it's not bad, not bad. Not bad today. Not bad I, today. Yeah. And I look at my wife and then I do the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then she just walks into the other room. Right. She yeah. Me about it. yeah. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom one time and I'm peeing and I got the door open and my wife is in the living room. And I went, wow, look at the size of this cock. And my wife, without missing a beat, goes, is somebody else in the bathroom with you? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, it is what it is, man. So, dude, well, poor Aaron Rodgers, huh? I know. I know. I know. I don't even follow football. <laughs> yeah. One game, huh? Four plays. Not even a whole game. Not even mm. one quarter. This Where first did, he, series. did he come from the Chargers? Where did he come from? He came from Green Bay. Okay. okay. And why why do the Jets the Jets seem to just what, what how old is he? 39. Yeah. What is it about the Jets that like do you know what the Jets need? Like a Lee Iacocca. Well, Lee Iacocca went into Chrysler and he just fucking changed everything. He was like, they were gonna go out of business, and he's like, Okay, we're gonna we got to change everything. This, this shit's like, you know, or the guy from Moneyball, you know. The, yeah. That, well, just you know. The, on paper, on paper, um, the Jets were looking good. They just needed a quarterback, you know. And they drafted the guy, Zach Wilson, you know, a few years ago with hopes of him being that that guy. And, you know, he needs he needs a few years. You know, you don't just – you don't just break out of college and become the top NFL quarterback. There are some mm. people that do it, but you know Zach Wilson is not one of them. So the next best thing, bringing in Aaron Rodgers, who obviously was looking to get out of Green Bay, he's probably got a couple good years left in him, and could mentor you know Zach Wilson and help develop him. Which, dude, if you're Zach Wilson, it don't get fucking better than that. I mean, yeah, you right. know Aaron Rodgers was under Brett Favre for years before he got his starting role. You know, Tom Brady over uh, the guy from uh, was a Flutie uh, from uh, uh, oh, you're the football guy. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so nothing better than than to you know be under one of these top guys on their way out and learn from them. You know, uh, so you know, Aaron Rodgers goes down and 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 was it uh, at least was it at least dramatic? Did he get hit? Hard. Well, dude, at first, you really didn't know what happened. It, it looked like it was an ankle or, or something. Um, because the way he went down, you couldn't tell in the immediate uh replay, you know. But then now they it's a couple of days later, they're showing it in slow motion. You see the Achilles pop. Really? And his yeah, dude, it's bad. And his calf like bubbles, like you see it roll up. Um, and I he lives out. He lives of, out here now, right? He bought a house in he Jersey. He just bought a place up in by you, dude. Up in yeah, North Glen, Jersey. Glen Ridge or something like that. Glen Rock. I think so. Like yeah. That. So, uh, you know, the Achilles uh, tendon, um, one of the worst areas to get an injury on, you know, because it's it's the one area of your body that gets the worst blood flow. So yeah. they don't bruise, you know. 
much at all because the blood flow there is almost non-existent, you know? Um, so to recover an area like that is, is twice as hard. Um, the recovery time is much longer than, than a normal injury. And, and he's somebody, not, he's not a young man for football. And he's not a spring chicken. You know, I'm sure he could be on every recovery medication known to man. But at this point, did the recovery, you know, recovering from something like, you know, we're going to walk again, you know, mm-hmm. like, it's not like, hey, you just let this heal and you run back on the field. Like, he's got to learn how to do everything over again. So it depends, you know, um, how bad he wants this, if he wants to come back or, or not. You know, this could be a career-ending injury for him, you know. And, uh, you know, with what the Jets just well, – uh, What did what they sign? Year, how much money did they uh... – It was a lot, dude. I don't, I don't even know. <clears throat> but it was a lot. I think I'm going to become a Jet fan. You know, um, it could be worse, though. You know, it could be worse. You know, you could be a Giant fan like me and uh, have to deal with this shit, you know, on the other side of the stadium of that that piss-poor performance um, that we just pulled off against Dallas in opening night. Um, I heard. I don't follow football. I heard, but... Uh, we couldn't do anything right. Who's the quarterback on, on the Giants now? That's Daniel Jones. And a lot of it's not his fault. You know, I mean, we spent 12 years trying to get an offensive line. And uh, last year, it seemed like, hey, we're putting one together. And supposedly, uh, you know, supposedly this year was supposed to be even better. Um, But, dude, they couldn't block, you know, an incoming fucking call. You know what I mean? Like, they they couldn't block. They They look like the Bad News Bears. Worse because these are pros. Wow. I mean, yeah, like yeah, yeah. they look like they just came out of you know off season. Like they look like they had no no preseason. Really fumbling and and dude, it was in the defense. Like they got a solid defense, dude. They couldn't tackle. The defensive backs couldn't stop fucking interfering the receivers. It was dude, it was embarrassing. It was fucking well, it was, embarrassing. It was that bad. Holy and shit! And it was to Dallas, so you know they're like fucking arch enemies, you know. And yeah, that's your. uh that's the rivals, you know. So, yeah. uh, but Dallas looked fucking good, dude. Yeah, Dallas. They yeah, I don't. I, I'll be honest with you. I've tried so many times to get into football. I just, I just can't. Really? Yeah, I just can't, can't do it. I, I just find it so boring. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Baseball is fucking boring. Don't yeah, I don't follow you. that either. <laughs> Does anybody even um, watch baseball anymore? I think it's like a. Well, they, they supposedly they sped it up, the pitch time. So it's made it a little more watchable, you know, for people uh, who don't have much fucking time to kill, you know. I mean, nobody um, even talks about baseball anymore. Um, yeah, they do. If, you, if you're into sports, they talk about it. You know, I guess. Still, I but, but football, did somebody, uh, an A-type guy like you, I'm surprised you have trouble. Yeah, football. you know what? It, it came from, you know, my father was never into football. You know, my uh, brothers were never into football because, my you know, my father never was, so we never fucking watched it. My father watched boxing, so all three of us would watch boxing, you know, and that was that was really it. But for the most part, man, I just and I tried because all my friends were into football and I tried and I'm just like, eh, I can't fucking this is this is and then like things happen and I go, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> so, dude, you, we just we just we just, um, you know. Past 9-11. So uh, obviously we had all the ceremonies and stuff, and and uh, and it's it's you know it's sad you know it's still sad to this day, right? And they're still doing the memorial ceremonies on TV, and every you know most sure. channels have it all blocked off, but they're still reading the names of everybody that died that day. Yeah, which I don't I don't I don't know like that's good or bad. Like, obviously this is, you know, probably the worst thing that happened on American soil, you know, right. to, to us. Um, but reliving it like that every year. I know it's like, it's like opening up a wound every year. Right? It's hard. Like I get it. You know, if you want to, but to re- mention the names again, like people like it's, they, I, th- I think they want to move on, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. or maybe not, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I honestly they can't relate. The list, I they, 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 they go I through the lose. whole list. Yeah, I know. I 
I would have to ask somebody who actually lost somebody if it helps or hinders them. I, I don't know because I can't relate because I didn't. And I was right there. I was working for Deutsche Bank at the time, which was the building across the street. But I was I had to be at work at nine. I think the I think the, uh, the planes hit at like seven something. Dude, I was in the building like a week prior. Oh, that doesn't count. You know, I was in the building, you know, saying, like if, I was you know, in the building, you know, you, you know, like when I was 10. <laughs> no, I get it. But, but a week prior. Yeah. If, the, if, the, if they decided that one week that earlier, day, you would have been fucked. Holy shit. Yeah. What floor were you on? I wasn't a high up. I was uh, there was like a mall in there. I don't know if you ever been to the Trade Center. Yeah. But there was a mall like on the I forgot what floor it was. And it was like shopping for people, you know, yeah, I was yeah, actually yeah. doing a demo there for one of the. After I turned pro, I was with this different company, and I was doing a demo for for them in there. You were with MHP. It was MHP. Exactly. It was MHP. Somebody actually had an MHP shirt on yesterday at the gym. I was like, "Holy shit, that's an old motherfucking shirt." I'm still around. Yeah. I'm still kicking it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna call it quits. You've been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're holding a penis. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have, I have, I have, I have two. It looks like a penis. You got to get a different mic. Well, I have another mic, but it looks like a testicle. Put that on the bottom. You get two of them. Put them on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's the guy Mom's had tes- on the side. Yeah, yeah, the guy had testicular cancer. He had one removed. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're fine. Uh, you got problems. We got to hang out again. I know you invited me to your house that day, but I, on Sundays uh, it's no good because I got to go to my mother's house. But we definitely yeah, got to pick it. Then we now we're fucking. You know, we got soccer nonstop. Oh, now, so God, yeah, pick, yeah. we'll pick a weekend. But I'll see one weekend. We'll be we have a we have a, an event to go to Friday night, and I think Saturday we have a couple games. But yeah, we'll right. figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll All it right, soon. sounds good. All right, brother. All right, I'll talk to you soon. You got it. Later. 